Imperial Inquisition was a unit of the Imperial Army during the reign of the Empire. It consisted of four sensitive dark side warriors, known as the Inquisitors. Their headquarters was Fortress Inquisitorius, located on the water moon in the Mustafa system called Nur. It served as a base of operations, training facility, and also a prison, as we saw in Kenobi series, where they contained captured Jedi and even their dead bodies. Main goal of Imperial Inquisition was hunting down the remaining Jedi who had survived the Great Jedi Purge at the end of the Clone Wars. Apart from hunting Jedi, they also seeked everyone who helped them. Doing so allowed the Inquisitors to reveal whole rescuing operations of organizations like the Path, for example, which we got acquainted with in the recent episodes of Kenobi series. There was also a secret operation led by Inquisitors called Project Harvester. Its purpose was to seek and capture any children identified as Force Sensitives and turn them into the servants of the Dark Side. Now to Inquisitorial structure and organization. According to Wikipedia, the exact number of Inquisitors was kept secret. There may have been as many as 12 Dark Side agents. Inquisitors had their own squad of Purge Troopers who helped them on their missions. Purge Troopers were last generation clone troopers, armed with blaster rifles, electro staffs, electric batons or electro hammers. They wore a distinctive black armor similar to clone paratroopers. Inquisitors had a high rank in the Imperial military, allowing them to take command of any unit of Imperial Army or Imperial officer. Lower ranked Inquisitors answered to the Grand Inquisitor, who himself answered directly to Lord Vader. Darth Vader didn't like the Inquisitors because he saw them as a cannon fodder and insignificant weaklings. The Inquisitors' training process was probably the most ruthless in the Imperial military, mostly because they were trained personally by Darth Vader, who taught them the ways of the dark side. For example, during one of the training sessions with the Inquisitors, Vader cut the sixth brother's arm to teach him and other Inquisitors about loss. Inquisitors were trained to a certain limit, so there was no chance of them overpowering Vader and taking his place. Although Vader lost a decent percent of his power after his loss to Obi-Wan on Mustafar, I still don't think that any of the Inquisitors could beat Vader. We saw Reva trying to backstep Vader, but he defeated her very quickly without breaking a sweat. The Inquisitors wore black and grey armored bodysuits. Some also wore helmets, like Second Sister Trilla from Fallen Order game, for example. Their main weapon was a double-bladed red lightsaber, which had a special mechanism allowing it to spin and even fly like a helicopter. In my opinion, helicopter lightsabers is a very stupid thing, but we have what we have. Inquisitors also developed interrogation chairs to assist in their questioning of suspected rebels or Jedi, which we saw in the Fallen Order game and recently in the Kenobi series, when Reva was trying to interrogate Jan Leia. Jedi Knight Seer Junda, which we also saw in the Fallen Order game, was interrogated and tortured on such chair. During Episode 4, A New Hope, Tarkin makes it clear that Vader and Palpatine are the only Force Sensitives left. Even though he was wrong, because there still were at least Obi-Wan, Luke and Leia, but there were no Inquisitors. They were absent in the original trilogy, simply because when George Lucas wrote the story, Inquisitors weren't a thing. Funny enough, there is no canon answer on what happened to the Inquisitors. We saw many of them died on screen, some died in comics, but what happened to others? The only thing I could find was in the 2019 book called Star Wars The Secrets of the Jedi and there is a quote of Luke Skywalker saying During the early years of the Empire, the red blades of the Inquisitorius cut a swath through the galaxy as they wiped any remaining traces of the Jedi Order from existence. Once the Jedi were finally considered extinct by the Empire, the Inquisitorius vanished into the darkness as well. So what happened to them? Maybe Vader killed them because they were of no further use, maybe they were killed by rebels, maybe something else, but I personally would stick to the theory that they were killed by Vader. 
Thank you guys for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and give your opinion about Inquisitors in the comments. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.